Hi. Uh, a little while ago, I done a video about a um, web building software, and in that video, I recommended Web Creator Pro Six. Um, that recommendation, I think, still stands for someone who is a complete novice at building websites. Had no, had knows absolutely nothing about um, programming, coding, anything like that, and wants to actually see where the software, what actually goes on the screen and where and when. Um, it's perfect for a novice. I was discovering a few problems with it as I went along though. Um, I discovered that the site that I built, um, it was in excess of 700 pages at that time. When it was loaded on, loaded on Internet Explorer, uh, the script, it was actually broken. Uh, it was laid out completely wrong. Worked on every other browser except Internet Explorer. A lot of you might be saying, well, screw Internet Explorer, but a lot of people still use it. Um, so I had to fix that. It was an easy fix. I just had to go into the um, into the files and change one line of code. However, if I had to do that, what was the point of what you see, what you get edited up? Um, and then that fix basically only fixed it for uh, people who had Internet Explorer 10. If you didn't have Internet Explorer 10, it still was broken. Um, the other problem I discovered was that the site I built fit perfectly on a 19 inch monitor, which is what I have here, and displayed brilliant. Anything outside of that it just didn't look right. The smaller the screen got, the worse it actually appeared. You had to scroll it left and right to get it to um, fit correctly. Um, so with those few problems, again, it was something I could fix. I had to go into CSS files and, change and add some code. Um, but again, what's the point if I've got a what you see, what you get out of that? So I basically went on to WordPress. Um, probably something I should have done at the start because of the size of my site. Um, it's now in excess of 800 pages um, and everything that I've got on, my, on the site I had is already built into WordPress and it's simple to use. I had in excess um, of 800 pages now as I've already said and putting all the widgets and plugins in it's just super simple with WordPress um, and I probably should have done it from the outset um, you know if you've only got a very small site 10 20 pages up to even 100 pages Web Creator Pro 6 is perfect it does fine for a small site um, it doesn't crash uh, it's easy to see what you're putting and where you're putting it. Um, I'd recommend if you did it to keep the, the width at 800 millimeters so it stays, it'll fit on all screens. Even when you use it on a, uh, on a phone, smartphone, it'll still display. You'll still have to zoom in, you know, you pinch your fingers and zoom in like that. But, you know, it, it's simple you know what, what can you expect the, the benefits of WordPress um, is it's free and I've got a fully responsive theme so no matter what size screen it's gonna look perfect um, so yeah if you know if you want to have a, a go at a, um, a website a small one and you've got absolutely no knowledge on anything um, yeah, go for um, the Web Creator Pro 6. You can put custom code and great for learning, uh, but it has its limitations. If you want to use a more complex site, you want to add more features, go for WordPress. Alright, thanks for watching.